All right, so state by state, city by city, the rules can vary. Chief Investigator Brendan Keith is breaking down why are there some exceptions to the shelter in place rules in different locations. Signs of the times. Empty parking lots draining the economy. Some stores close so quickly their shuttered doors are flanked by signs saying now hiring. Others remain open for business as if the last month never happened. The open signs appear on certain stores, even where local governments ordered people to shelter in place. These have been declared essential services. Hospitals and diagnostic labs top the list. Firefighters and other public safety workers are obviously exempted. Grocery stores are universally open. Dry cleaners are generally exempt. But liquor stores have also been declared essential in many states and cities with mandatory shutdown orders. Some even allow to-go drinks along with curbside delivery of meals. Why so many exceptions to the rule? Because of necessities. This, of course, starts as a tree. In order for this to get to your house, every step along the way has to keep rolling. To fill these shelves, delivery drivers have to be allowed to work and to keep their trucks rolling, the gas stations have to stay open. Factories have to keep making all of this stuff and that means shipping companies have to be exempted. Someone has to build the factories, so many states have exempted construction companies too. The roads are all open because people are allowed out to shop for food and medicine and all of those exempt workers have to get back and forth from home which is why public transportation is also still operating just about everywhere, along with banks and ATMs. Airplanes are flying, though far fewer of them are in the air because they're flying nearly empty. Also empty, newsrooms across the nation. Even though the press has been declared essential, our newsrooms don't look like they did just a week ago because nearly all of us are working from home. So what is actually closed? In cities and states with shelter-in-place orders, tourist attractions, sports venues, and movie theaters have all been shut down. Dine-in restaurants and office buildings are generally off-limits. Big box stores have also been forced to close in several states unless they also sell groceries. Which brings us back to those suddenly empty parking lots. Scientists say crowds create breeding grounds for the virus. Millions are staying home doing their part to flatten the curve. So hopefully this will be the sign when things begin to return to normal.